Beverly Hills is already one of the most surveilled cities in the world, but like everything else in the wealthy enclave, city officials say more is better. But not everyone agrees. KTLA's Lauren Lister live in Beverly Hills tonight. Lauren. Yeah, uh, Micah, cameras like this did not prevent thieves from recently uh, burglarizing a jewelry store just across the street. But the police chief says the footage is expected to help in the investigation. And now the city plans to expand surveillance. It's getting mixed reactions tonight. They steal watches, they put gun behind your head. I don't wear any jewelry anymore. It's really really bad in Beverly Hills. Dr. Elena Eustache has a business on South Beverly Drive. Neighboring this jewelry store targeted just last month in a brazen smash and grab. She's thrilled to learn Beverly Hills now has plans to expand surveillance in an effort to combat crime. I've experienced two robberies here in within three weeks, so there really needs to be more surveillance. City officials say Beverly Hills is already monitored by around 2,000 surveillance cameras, with footage so far used in investigations mostly after a crime has been committed. Soon, that will change. Now we want to go to more proactive model where we have people monitoring the cameras live so they can more quickly uh, if you will, virtually get to that crime scene. The hope in part is to stop more crimes as they're committed or prevent them entirely. This is more of a deterrent. This is where live cameras will be watching and it's really a message to criminals. Don't even think of doing any crime in Beverly Hills because you will be caught. Critics bring up issues including privacy and a lack of evidence that deters crime. All of the evidence about the impacts of these kinds of surveillance systems is that they're not necessarily that helpful in terms of public safety. Um, we don't have strong evidence. Some in Beverly Hills telling us they're for more monitoring in commercial areas, but aren't sure about residential ones. I think it's a balance between surveillance and cutting down on crime, but also privacy. It's, it's sort of a difficult subject. City officials defending the expansion. Our cameras are only in public spaces where you wouldn't have no expectation of privacy uh, in the first place. So it's really a, a message to anybody who is a criminal to recognize, pick another city. The police chief says their uh, camera monitoring plans will cost about $600,000 a year, and they'll use private contractors they already work with. The mayor says the real-time surveillance will be rolled out in phases, the first set to be up and running in two months. Live in Beverly Hills, I'm Lauren Lister, KTLA 5 News.